sometimes it's like kind of hard I guess to be 16 you know you see so much and you do so much and you try so many things and you're just kind of trying to figure yourself out and at the same time you're working with the judgment of the world and you're kind of afraid and sometimes it feels like you abandon parts of yourself in places and you leave stuff behind or you leave things forgotten. I used to sit in extremities, upon a monochrome lock, behind prison bars that imprisoned my thoughts. But I've come to the conclusion that I'm an illustration of a princess dress, worn by a paper bag girl with a mind that screams in glitter. There's a full cotton candy array of fluff fluffy dreams that's planted in my mind. It's taught me how to be on my own. I would normally never choose to admit it to myself, but I've discovered my life is rather incroyable. The moments I have experienced are like the twinkles of stars in the night sky, and one more step into wondering what it would be like to travel to the equilibrium of the universe. The stinging itch to lay away in a cool bath and allow my fingertips to trace this world of wonders goodbye when I felt like the sun existing in complete isolation without being gravitationally bound to any of the other clusters of stars. But there comes a time when you snap. That thought dissolves in the colors that fill sunsets. We are only one tiny speck world in the enormous universe of over 200 billion galaxies. We are so minuscule to the entirety of what makes up our universe. You wake up from that burning nightmare with pulsing eyes to remind you that you are your own princess, and that you could leave a trace on the world as big as Apollo's trace on the moon. Just a simple footprint. No destruction or sound. Just like how you are a princess who wears an invisible tiara. One only seen to your own keen eyes. One invisible to all those other girls who'd wish to strip it from you. Every person has their de own depiction of the way the world evolves around them. What makes up our life on earth is one brick in a house, one freckle on your right thigh, even the wooden table in your living room. Life isn't all blank, white, empty space filled with shapes in black and white. Maybe underneath it all everything's a little black and white, but there are so many twinkles soaring to the sky from our minds that make up our small beings and make us so drastically different, even in the grand scheme of things. But our generation has a gift. We believe in a passionate appreciation towards anything and everything that graces our lives, even if it's only for a moment. And that's how we fill stars into the night skies. If that's a good or bad thing, I guess I'll never be quite sure. But for now, every twinkle in my fantastical daydreams lived by a princess living in a real life world have made me, me. <laughs>